so uh, here I have uh, kept several versions of my project so I could uh, traverse through the version whenever I need so this was this is the last version version 5 so I'm going to run this code blocks it's going to take a while okay uh, this is these are the codes and um, yeah, quite a lot of lines of code but uh, this is quite simple so let's run the project first and this is the day mode so I'll uh, explain the rest of night mode and rainy mode later so this is the day mode and at the top of the screen there is a sky and in that sky there is a sun and uh, lots of uh, moving clouds the clouds are moving uh, horizontally and the birds are moving horizontally and there is also uh, a static uh, cloud and uh, down below on the left hand side there is a, a lovely little village uh, which is a dream village uh, as I explained uh, in this uh, place there are lots of trees and uh, the one in the front is uh, very big and uh, we can see that there is uh, orange falling from this tree continuously and uh, th there is some uh, roads to go to these houses uh, in the village so there is different kind of uh, trees uh, like tall trees um, a, little bit s a little bit short but uh, b bigger in width so there's a combination of uh, different uh, sizes of uh, trees and uh, this is the railroad and and this is the train and train is nothing too fancy so it's quite difficult to draw something in two dimensional uh, vertically so it, it would have been great if I've been able to do it in 3D since we don't have the much of a time so I couldn't do it so um, it's quite simple nothing fancy uh, this is the train and uh, this is the railroad and uh, this is the river and this right hand side this portion is the river and in the river there are several uh, boats uh, one big boat which is uh, moving horizontally uh, moving vertically and these three nodes if you uh, look carefully these are also moving and on this, uh, co let's come back to this village and on from this uh, big tree. Um, let me run the program again so I can show you. Uh, from this big tree, uh, from this big tree, I can see the um, uh, birds are uh, flying away diagonally through the screen. And this is the day mode, and I have explained a lot of it. So basically how I implemented the in, in this in the code so very simple code polygons uh, triangles and I have uh, individually uh, like uh, when I draw a house I wrote a function of house so have the parameters x and y coordinates so uh, I just have to call use the house function to draw a whole house and same applies for the train and boat. I also did it in the same way. So next up, uh, let's see the night mode. So to see the night mode, we have to press N button, N for night. So yes, press N. Yeah, okay. Now you can see the night mode. Everything is quite same. Instead of uh, clouds floating around, there is a couple of planes floating around. Instead of uh, clouds there is uh, some stars and a big moon instead of the sun so in the village uh, the surface is a little bit darker to make it look like it's night and trees are the same uh, railroad and train are the same river are the same just the color of the water has changed to adapt uh, to make sure that it looks like uh, night mode so if you want to see the rain mode with day mode so it could happen in the day or in the night so if we want to see the rainy mode in day we have to press R button 
and uh, rain is falling on the sky and yeah, okay it will continue to do so and when I'm uh, pressing the R button so this is the rainy mode in with day mode so what if it rains at night so we have a solution as well so if you press A button it will ra uh, rainy mode will come with uh, night mode so it's raining at night this uh, the drops of rain falling off the sky and a couple of uh, rockets or planes is moving very fast and uh, okay and this was uh, my project and uh, all these individual objects like bird uh, uh, the sun uh, boats all the boats and this uh, these boats are same just parameters are different and this boat is different and for each object like house birds uh, boats i have um, train i have a uh, rotor function i have just called the function inside uh, the display function so are uh, for moving this uh, object we we'll just use uh, translative functions that's very simple just it keep translating whenever it translate to a certain threshold it come back to the original position and then uh, start moving again like this boat it, it going out of the screen uh, whenever it crossed a certain threshold it come back to the original position and start moving again and same applies for the cloud birds and this uh, oranges and this was my project and uh,